Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are back on Seneca County for Ohio Horsepower. We have not been here for a good few weeks. It's been a relatively quiet period and we have been very busy, so um, we haven't been able to fit as many uh, episodes in as we would like, but uh, here we are, back again. Uh, I am actually rolling the baler. If you remember, we used this last time doing the pellet production off the back of a very, very large amount of uh, straw that we pulled off the uh, the wheat field ahead of us there. So uh, this needs a little bit of a service before we uh, send it back. Um, but we aren't going to be doing anything with the baler today. Let me just part the 9R there. Because uh, one of the reasons I was moving that out of the way from where it was before is because over here we need to get the auger wagon out. And the reason for this is we are going to be harvesting peanuts today. They are ready. The contractor arrived last night and set up the machine. He's uh, just set everything up uh, and he's parked it in the field. So we're going to join him there now. I'm interested to see what sort of volumes we get off this. We've also got the other contractor in here as well because the other field of tobacco is still waiting to be harvested up at the top there. So we'll maybe set him off on his merry way as well at some point. But for starters, we are going to jump into this field here. Um, peanuts. We are using a adapted harvester here, as you can see. Um, acts a little bit like a peat harvester. Um, and we can pick the crops up. It's not 100% authentic. It's the closest we've got, to be honest. Uh, one of the other options, you can use a combine on this map. We've got a case combine over there which we could have used, but this uh, this is as close as we could get accuracy-wise, so uh, we're going to give this a go. So what we'll do for starters is we will set him up on his merry way. We've got to fold, unfold everything. Like I said last night, the contractor just came along, set a few things up, made sure everything was working, uh, and has left it there overnight for us to set up. So we'll unfold the header as well. Make sure that that is uh, ready. It's actually quite a nice model this header. The Holmer header there. All prepped and ready to go. So uh, hopefully we should uh, be able to push on and get things done relatively quickly. We're going to run a clockwise fashion here. Uh, but uh, hopefully, like I said, 30,000 litres storage in this. Um, so we should be able to fill up a couple of the Demcos. In the meantime, we will go and get the trailers ready and on standby so we can unload. Now in terms of prices, the prices at the moment for peanuts are pretty static. St. Stephen's auction there at the bottom uh, is going up at the moment, but the best price we can get is at Carothers Mill uh, for $28 uh, per thousand litres. So uh, we will just hold fire on that, keep an eye on stuff. Uh, we can put it into our silo, so uh, we may do that again. We've already got wheat in there, and we've already got soybeans in there. So uh, uh, we may hold on to it till there's a better time to sell. Um, but for now, I think the job is to start getting stuff out of the ground. Okay, course set up, and there he goes, rolling away. Um, it can run at decent speed, actually. Up to 14 miles an hour, we're running at 9 at the moment. Uh, but he's processing away very nicely. So we'll keep tabs on him for a little while. And then we will jump back uh, to the auger wagon, which is parked down there. And uh, start getting unloaded as he starts to fill up. Um, I'm not sure what it'll do yield-wise. Never, ever harvested peanuts before. So we'll see how it goes. So we will see you back here very shortly.
So there we go, doing an awesome job. We're just rolled over 50% full as well. So um, obviously a big capacity in here, but at the same time, um, yield isn't too high as well. So it's going to be a nice balance in the field of getting the crop off the field, but also not overdoing it with the, the loading and unloading too much. But what we will do here um, is make sure we've got the trailers set up and ready to go. Yorga Wagon is over there on the other side just waiting at the moment so uh, he's ready to go as soon as this gets full uh, but what we'll do there's a couple of things we'll need to do while he's uh, working away in the field here uh, one is to bring the trucks over the other is to set up the tobacco harvester so let's go and do that so there it is if you remember it's already delivered a rather a large amount of bales that are sitting in the shed through there so we are going to go and get the second field ready now um, and get that prepped. Uh, the nice thing about this is it can just sit and run in the field until it's done. Uh, unloads the bales as and when it needs to. Um, so we can just let this run until he's finished. Now um, it's quite nice doing these alternative crops. Just something a little bit different isn't it? Uh, we have got another big field of wheat over there that we need to sort out at some point as well. Now I think this is the bigger field of tobacco uh, that we've got on the go as well so um, compared to this one here so we should get some decent uh, should get some decent bales out of this now I believe this was set to 20,000 litre bale capacity which is great um, so we're gonna push this uh, into course plate we'll get everything set up and we will send him on his merry way now have I got the old course still in there no I do not so I'm just going to scoot down here and I'm going to pick field 117 I think we should probably run maybe five headlands um, smooth corners, let's do turn corners everything looking good from there it's going to take a while to do this uh, and look there's a slight angle across the field as well now the other thing we need to do is make sure that we have islands switched on because down here we've got this big hole in the middle of the field which I didn't notice there so we've just turned it on now take a little moment to calculate when it's ready and um, we can hit the go button and there it is it took a little bit of time to get sorted created an interesting course as well look at that finishes this bit off at the end after it's done the other bits um, so it's going to be interesting to see how this goes a uh, rather technical course that um, but let's go. Nothing more to it than to let rip. And there we go. Soul systems go. He is bailing that tobacco. I think this could be quite a lucrative crop for us. So we're uh, looking forward to seeing how this one goes. Uh, obviously the other bales are in the shed, like I said. When these are all ready, we will get these sorted. Um, but I think nothing more to do than let them crack on and we'll come back in a little while and check how they're getting on. Very self-sufficient that one. Let's go and get the trailers ready for the peanut field though. Right, back in the yard here. Let's jump in the Mac. Let's get the trucks. Trailers, there they are, underneath the silo facility at the moment. We will get those hooked up and on their way. In fact, the Dupka trailers, we'll move them out of the way. We're not going to use those for this crop. We will go back to the trusty old FSG trailers. He's had uh, the wheat in them last time. So they'll need a clean out before we put another crop in them. So what we'll do for now, I think we'll just run them down the outside of this shed here. And we'll go and grab the other ones. We're not under any pressure yet. That's a good capacity in that... Uh, in that harvester and uh, we've also got the auger wagon there as well so let's get these unhutched and uh, we'll get back to the field okay here we go we should have enough space at the side of the road and uh, the land is dry enough that we should have no issues if we just park up here just about here should be fine get the covers off both trailers forward and reverse and we shall turn the engine off and wait now 
Uh, I'm going to run over with the auger wagon. I think we'll let him finish his headlands. I think he, I'm wondering if we'll get all the headlands in before he needs an unload or not. Uh, we'll keep tabs on him and see how he's going. But uh, at the moment, he's making fast progress. He's got his light on flashing there, so he must be over 80% now. So let's run over and get an unload done. The big Fent 1050, really good for pulling the big Demco auger wagon. Now the only thing is I don't know if the uh, if the unloader will fit next to the Demco. I think it will. Pretty confident it will, but uh, you never know until the point that you've got to try it. But that is looking good. Now all he needs to do is detect that I'm here. And he has. There we go. Right, there we go. A slightly off unload animation. You can't see it actually going into the trailer, but it's going. It's filling up pretty quick. To let him go around this corner before we get the rest of it. He's leaving a little bit of crop behind, not masses though. Not enough to worry about, I don't think. Now he's going to cut into his new row here. He may leave this chunk off at the end actually. Once he's done. So if we run up and get the rest of this into here, we are going to be ready. We'll peel off now, and he can give us a shout, and he's ready. 55% in there, so what we'll do, still quite a lot, so what we'll do, we'll head back down to the truck, do a quick truck unload, and take it from there. And there we go, first load into the trailer, looking good. And I guess it's all systems go. Let's see how quickly we can get through this field. And the pain that you're feeling gradually fades away. Cause growing up, falling in love, giving your all might not be enough. Just trust your head and your heart. That's what my mama said. Weeks and months and years they passed. But then I found. the tobacco harvester running here and with the peanut harvester running over on the other field over there um, these fields are huge they're going to take us a little bit of time so we'll probably call it there for this episode nice short one um, just show you that we are still working this farm and still working this map and still enjoying it very much but uh, we will come back very soon with another episode of a horsepower and uh, 
show you how we've got on with this stuff. But for now, from me, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you're glad to see Ohio Horsepower back, and I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.